we were definitely free spirits in those days. And there was something so valuable about what I learned by being involved in that kind of music early on. Um, I'll, I'll always wonder where things would have gone if we had pursued it because I definitely did, uh, I did end it, the Pied Pumpkin, quite prematurely. You know, it wasn't something that I grew away from it or wanted to leave or there was, we were thriving and I left uh, to be with, the, to join the hometown band. And I'll always wonder how we would have evolved if, if I'd stayed with them. But the thing that was so great about it was I, the music was so unique. Uh, my role in it as a player was that I had all the room in the world. There was guitar and dulcimer and they were basically the rhythm and I got to be all the icing. It sounds like there's a responsibility with that, but at the same time, the it's not quite structured in it somehow. I don't know. It seems to be so relaxed. Like, well, that's it. There's, like why did you there's, leave it? You know, if you were so happy, why did you leave it? For the lure of success. As defined by what? Well, I, I had just finished, at that time, I had just finished a tour with Valdi where we played two concerts a night all across the country to Queenie theater type halls. And I, every night I did Fear of Flying, well it was called Flying, and the audiences went crazy and I got such a rush from playing those sorts of theaters and, and having people respond to my voice that way and it was very ironic because Fear of Flying was Rick Scott or Joe Mock's song, that was a Pied Pumpkin song that I took on the road and then that was also the song that got the hometown band their record deal. But I, I just couldn't resist. It was a great experience. Um, I was seduced by it all. I mean, I really was tormented over that decision. Uh, I've never been as tormented by any decision since. And I, f I felt like I really was choosing between good and evil <laughs> and chose evil. I mean, I don't, I don't regret it, although, as I say, I'll always be curious how we would have evolved had I, had I not ended it prematurely. But um, I also wonder whether or not I ever would have found my music, whatever that is. I had no uh, impetus to write uh, in that particular group because our music was so much Rick and Joe, the actual songs, the actual material. And even in the hometown band, I didn't really, I didn't write until the very end and when I wrote Feel Good for the last album. And that was my first song and I wrote it out of sheer determination to have a song on the album. And the success of that song led me to believe that I had good instincts for writing and should definitely pursue that. And I don't know whether or not I would have in the context of the Pied Pumpkin because I didn't need to. I, I think, as I say, I think instinctively I always knew that, that I could do it and that I should do it. Uh, I still have to tell myself that you know, with yeah. writing now. I still have to look back sometimes and say, okay, well, you've, you've written all these songs and you've had success with these records. You must be good. <laughs> and I think every artist does that. They yeah. constantly have to be reminded or remind themselves that they should be doing what they're doing.